Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and I want to take a look at downloading Go today. And we're going to use the terminal in this tutorial because it's the fastest way to get Go onto our Ubuntu 18 laptop. So first, let's go to the golang.org website, and let's check out the Downloads button here. And you can see that the most recent version of Go for Linux is Go 1.14.2. So I can right-click on this, and I can copy the link location here. And then let's flip over to our terminal. And first I'm going to CD or change directories into our downloads folder because our downloads folder should be empty. And then I'm going to do a wget on that URL. So once that's complete, if I list the files in this folder again, you'll see that we have this go114 tarball. So it's a tarred and gzip file, which is basically compressed. So we can unpack that file by running a tar and we'll pass some flags, we'll extract, unzip, pass a verbose file output, and run it on that file here. Press enter. And if we list the files again, now we have a Go folder here. And inside that Go folder, if we were to look in there, you'll see there are a bunch of files and folders, one of which is bin. And inside the bin folder, if you take a look, there is a Go binary. And this is the actual thing that executes Go. So we could actually just run this code right here by running dot slash go bin go. And you can see that it outputs all these commands and some help tips and some commands for Go. So that's the, the Go language right there. And now what we want to do is we want to move this into a location that allows us to run it anywhere on our computer without having to type this full path like this. So right now we have to do dot go bin go. And if we were in a different folder besides the downloads, we'd have to adjust this location to point to that downloads folder. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move the Go folder we're going to move it to a location that's user local. Now this folder requires elevated permission, so we're going to have to run this as a super user, so pass sudo in front of that command and press enter. And now if you were to list the files in user local, you should see that go belongs in there now. So for some of you, that might be all you need to do. So if you were to type go, you might get something like this. Now, if you're not seeing that, if you see something like the computer not recognizing the go command, then what you need to do is you need to add the go binary to your path. So you can do that by adding it to a file in your home directory called bash rc. So we're going to open that with a command line text editor called vi. And I'm going to use the tilde character. That means home directory. It's a shortcut. And then I'm going to type dot bash rc. And that's going to open a file. So right now we're in a file. It looks a little funny, but this is a file. And I'm going to do Shift G to hop to the bottom of the file here. And then I'll press O to insert a new line below the last line there. And I'll just press Enter again. And then I'll add a comment, something like add go to path. And then below that, I'll just say export path equals dollar sign path colon user local go bin and then I can do a control C to get out of insert mode and then if I type colon WQ that will write to the file and quit out of the file now if we want to make sure that that change in that file has taken place we have to come in here and we have to do something called sourcing that file so type source on that file and now you should be able to type go if you couldn't previously and you should see the same output that we're seeing here. If you wanted to check where your Go is installed to, you could type which Go, and that shows the location that we installed it to previously. We moved this to the user local Go bin. And if you want to know the version of Go you're on, just type Go version, and that will let you know that you're currently on 1.14.2. That should be all you need to get started with Go. You don't really need to set your Go path or your Go root anymore with the new Go modules that we're using with the newer versions of Go. Stay tuned to our channel for some Go tutorials coming up very shortly. Thanks for watching this and take care.